Howdy. <coughs> Howdy folks. Day shave is going to be with a uh, DE razor. I know I haven't had very many videos with a DE razor in it. And this one here is a Gillette. It took me a moment to figure out this is a 1955 model made in the first quarter. It's a president. Twist to open. And I got this one uh, at a antique store with about oh, nine other razors. I'll talk some more about it in a moment. The uh, shaving soap today is going to be Crown King and it's going to be Lavender Cedar. And the consistency of this is pretty soft. You can kind of see in there it doesn't take a whole lot to put an impression on the uh, soap there. The uh, uh, I'm going to use an aftershave balm, Banyulay Cedar follow up after the shave. I've got the uh, Allen Block complete with rubber band. Off camera I'm going to be using the Cream O' Cream Beard Balm. It has a spearmint scent to it and that's the color of it. Goes well with the beard. And I've got Witch Hazel here, Humphreys. Plan on using. The brush I'm using today is a horsehair. I've already whipped up some of the lather in a bowl. And that's what it looks like. This stuff is pretty darn creamy. Let's see if you can see those peaks in there. It's it's pretty creamy. Good stuff. I've already put a hot towel to the face. Did some bloom water also. And I'm going to go ahead and wet the face to get started. The um, razor itself, when I first got it, it was in a lot of about... 10 razors at an antique store and they had not been cleaned up yet and I had got these a while back uh, I knew when I got that one that I had something <laughs> I didn't know what I had it looked like a pretty nice racer even though it was uh, covered in you know soap scum and whatnot it needed to be cleaned up but I had no idea what Gillette razor I had and after looking into it, it falls in the line of uh, the, like the Gillette Aristocrat. Smells good. The, uh, the only way I could tell the difference after reading and finally found the right information is that there is a difference in between this one and the Gillette Diplomat. The Diplomat looks just like this one, with the exception of the fact that it's gold. And this one, may, since it's gold, it's a Diplomat. This one here being silver, if you will, makes it a president. That's the only way I know to make it, how you can tell the difference in between those two. And as it goes for Aristocrat, this knurling right down here is more like a smooth part right down through here as opposed to this knurling. Outside of that, I couldn't really tell you what the difference is between them. Now, this is the first shave with this one. I have not, um, have not shaved with it yet. And matter of fact, the uh, blade that I've got in here is a Gillette Silver Blue. Thought it'd be fitting to have, uh, have that kind of razor, razor blade with it. I can tell you that the uh, twist the open mechanism in this thing, pretty smooth. Like I said, I knew I had something. <laughs> when I t went to turn it and it was such a smooth action even though it was covered in soap scum. Knew this had to be one of the nicer razors and it is. I'm not saying that some of the other twist to open mechanisms aren't smooth, but this one here, it just, it just feels of quality. It really does. Figured for about, uh, I guess you might say, starting with this weekend, even though it's not quite November, 
for the month of November and December on Sundays that it would shave with a uh, double edge safety razor. I primarily shave with a uh, single edge, usually a shave at. I do uh, enjoy shaving with a variety of razors. A different experience, even from shave it to shave it, D razor to D razor, the injectors, the gems. To me, that's it's good to experience all that. I can tell you, this is a pretty smooth shave. This uh, soap is pretty creamy. I mean, you've seen the peaks in that bowl, hopefully. <laughs> well, it's whipping it up with this horse hair brush. It's <laughs> it feeling pretty good. If you can tell in the bowl. The lavender, the, the cedar, really comes out in the soap. Really nice. Pretty sure I was going to like this scent. Yeah, it took me quite a while to figure out what kind of razor I had. There for the longest, I thought maybe I did have a diplomat. Then I read the, the difference in between the diplomat and the president is just a, what color it is. There for like I said, there for a while. I thought I had a diplomat. I, it's kind of hard to find much information out on these things. And this thing here is in pretty good shape. It was in a lot with uh, uh, two other Gillette gems. I mean, uh, Slims and uh, two Black Beauties. It was quite a find. It's been kind of fun doing the research on them. For this one being in 1955, it's an outstanding shape. It's got some wear on it, but still in very good shape. This is really smooth. I wouldn't say this is an aggressive razor at all. It's a really nice shave. The uh, the slams and the black beauties are not quite as nice shape as this one. They do to get it. They get some attention. Get it replated. Like I say, this is the first shave with this uh, razor. <laughs> it is really nice. Especially for a Sunday shave. Yeah. 
some folks uh, feel that the uh, horsehair brush is a little pokey. I, and it, this is just for me, but I don't feel the pokiness. I mean, I understand if it's a boar hair brush, those can be a little pokey. Have a little scritch to it. To me, these uh, horse hairs are pretty soft. They're pretty nice. This is really creamy soap, too. Alright. Get the green pass here. To me, the um, when it comes to the scent, and I don't mind lavender. Lavender, lavender is a nice scent, but to me, it's the the cedar. That combination really brings out both of them. Both of them together work well together. It's a good razor to have a Sunday shave. This whole setup is a pretty nice setup. It will be interesting to see how these uh, Sunday shaves go because I'm not uh, experienced with the uh, adjustables either. So I'll be using a Slim Black Beauty and a um, Fat Boy. I'll be watching a few videos. I know it's um, when it comes to adjustables, some uh, will adjust the settings as uh, each pass is done. Start with one setting, then change it on each pass. Something I hadn't really gave it a whole lot of thought of. Like I said, <laughs> I primarily shave with a shave bed. <laughs> Not a whole lot of adjusting there. <laughs> I find that I actually like adjustable razors. I have to wait and see. Yeah, if you like lavender, this is a this might be a soap to check out. I can still smell it. The scent is still present. This is nice. Even though today is going to be a busy day, starts out being relaxing at least, huh? Let's see what the album block says. I'm pretty sure the album block's not going to have much to say about this shave. It felt pretty smooth. Weather here in Oklahoma is still hanging right around the highs in the 80s. Which is, to me, a little unusual for October. I can remember uh, many a Halloween being cold. A little bit on the frosty side. Maybe even wet. That doesn't seem to be the case right now. It's kind of odd. 
always different somewhere along the line. Witch Hazel Humphreys. To me, these uh, vintage razors are uh, it's interesting to look up the history, how long they've been around, and still shave just, you know, really nice. Been shaving with injectors off and on, gems. These things give me great shaves, and you know, they're 50, 60, some odd years old, and still shave just great. They're awesome. Uh, blades on the injectors. Uh, here lately I've been using uh, Persona Mini Hair Shaper uh, blades. Those blades uh, work just fine for me. I noticed that some of the Schick injector blades, uh, you can kind of tell the some of them were, didn't seem to be quite right. You can tell the, I guess you might say the bevel was not even all the way across. I went ahead and tried it out. This was a while back. It worked just fine. But um, it did uh, it kind of raise some questions on the quality when you're accustomed to seeing that bevel going all the way across like that. And you see that line, in other words, and it wasn't straight across. That kind of it gets a little concerning on details like that. The, uh, from what I've been able to find out about these injectors I've been using some of them are G1's I got a G4 I think one of them no I don't think I got an 8 I may have an 8 need to look into it a little bit more keeping all those letters E's, J's, I's <laughs> Ease. Schick had their their share of the naming convention. Looks like they had fun with it. Okay, go back over what I uh, used today. Uh, just got through using the Vanule Cedar aftershave balm to whip up the lather. I used a horse hair brush. Be along. It's great. Soap of the day was Crown King Lavender Cedar. My Allen Block with the rubber band. Got my razor over here in the hot water or warm water. Get ready to clean it up. Gillette 1955, first quarter, President. And the blade, Gillette Silver Blue. Everybody stay safe through this uh, weekend and going into Monday and Halloween. <laughs> Smooth shaves.